Where do you want them? Right there, right there, right there. That's gonna be a nice line, isn't it? When I first discovered Bray Lynn, it was at a small show in Bedding, and I knew what I was seeing was something special. playing with these subjects that are way beyond her age and uh, like she's rejecting the vapid mass consumerism that's inherent within contemporary youth culture. Braylon, which of the red ones is the one that's going to Art Miami this year? Uh, this one. Just that one? Yeah. By age two, she'd already fully mastered composition and by two and a half, she is rewriting the book on how it's done. Ray's so generous, like, we're out to dinner in this area where it's, like, notorious for, like, struggling art students, like, do working weight jobs, and so she's, like, she wipes her mouth, and she's, like, I'm done now, and then she gives it to the waitress, and she's, like, this will pay your college tuition. <laughs> There's no water in here. Oh, you need me to get water? Yes. No one is doing this stuff, and she's only three. She's just getting started. Can you explain your technique a little bit more? Yes. Do it nicely like this. It's beautiful. So it doesn't splash. I mean, she is the only artist living to this day that I think can claim that she actually remembers her full birth and has actually inspired many pieces, such as this one we see on the wall here. This piece is called A Womb with a Bia. I am finding myself in the middle of a gallery war right now. Braylon, are we having dinner with Larry Gagosian tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Larry Gagosian will never put a fucking finger on her work. Not as long as I'm around. You know, our collaborative process has been really rewarding for me and her. Like, I mean, Warhol, like, gave Bass Hiat, like, that foot up, and that's what she's done for me as, like, a young artist. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm 30 and she's 3, but... I still consider myself a younger artist than her, at least an experience.